beautiful gods and goddesses and amazing star seeds. Um, we are discussing today the spring equinox and this spring equinox is on the new moon in Aries and it is happening March 21st. So I am Fox Red Sky. I am your astrologer. I am your soul coach and love expert and I am here to share my wisdom, my gifts with you uh, because you know when one of us rises we all rise baby. So we are going to discuss today the spring equinox, the importance of it, what you can do, your own ceremonies that you can implicate, and how we can really take advantage of this time, this gateway, this portal, to really bring our rockets of desire into the 3D from the spirit world. So yes, um, yeah, so we're here in Costa Rica, and you know, so it's been an interesting, uh, I grew up in Texas, you know, um, having the seasons and you know being able to really see when the first day of fall came and see when the first day of spring came and just like the excitement that you had when the first little seedlings came, started to make its way out of the out of the soil and all of that fun and jazz and, and really feeling it in my body as a woman um, as a healer as a as a native woman feeling that 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 shift in perspective, just the whole world just tilting and just that equilibri equilibrium that comes with the vernal and the autumnal equinoxes that we experience twice a year. So living in Costa Rica, it's been, it's interesting because, you know, I live in an eternal spring, like it's green all year round. There's really only two seasons. It's like the dry or the wet, that's all you get. And so, um, but this is still a beauty and I'm, I'm living, I live really close Costa Rica is fairly, it's within that tropical zone. It's not on the equator, but it's pretty dang close to the equator, especially coming from Austin, Texas. Um, but there's still a gateway here. There's still an opportunity when the, the earth, you know, it has its own song. You know, the earth has her own song. And this is an opportunity to bring things into balance, into harmony on an individual level as well as a planetary level. And so this is your opportunity, especially on a new moon, especially on an Aries new moon to really ask the universe and say, look, I believe that I'm worthy. I know what I want and here is what I want. And if you know what you want, speak it aloud, baby. Say it because our words have power. Our, our intentions have power. And the universe wants to give it to you. The universe wants you to be in your highest timeline, wants you to experience the ultimate joys that this world has to offer. And you deserve it. You. And that's, I don't know if you've had this problem, but it, this has been a huge story of mine that I've had to overcome. This voice that tells me I'm not worthy, you know, and, uh, you know, it, it, it's a story that I was taught, you know, and maybe that was a story that my mother and my father was taught. They were not worthy, so therefore I'm not worthy. So stop it now, you know, here's our opportunity. Like, get out of that space. You are worthy of all things and here we are on this autumnal e or on this vernal equinox on this spring the beginning the first steps forward the flowers are ready to shoot up out of the ground and on a energetic level you can use this time you've already been building up to this point and now is the time to declare out loud to yourself or others or to the internet your dream, your vision. Mm. So there are many things you can do during this vernal equinox. You can take a beautiful cleansing bath. You can have a celebratory um, meal where you are honoring the, the, the spirits of nature and, and honoring your ancestors too. And so this is, this is your opportunity to create a ceremony that brings you into the fullness of who you are so that you can birth all of who you are. Yes. So anyway, I know that your time is precious and I want to say thank you so much for just listening to my voice and hearing my words and looking into my eyes and seeing the love that I share to you. And I am wishing you nothing but the best, the best. You deserve it. You are deserving of it. And if you think otherwise, well, you're wrong <laughs> um, on this beautiful vernal equinox. And please share whatever ceremonies that you like to, uh, to perform on, on these types of special occasions. And um, I send you all the love from my heart 
from Costa Rica, wherever you are in the world, I'm sending you a mass, mass, mass love. So, mwah.